This developer could come back to us every time there is a... Guys, I don't have all the answers, but let me tell you a couple things I know from experience. We've just pulled off our job site to go drive 14 minutes for an estimate today. This is a paid estimate, 50 bucks. If you know me, you know I like my paid estimates. Uh, I do very little for free. And uh, I'm showing up dressed to work. I look like an electrician, not a slob, but an electrician. And I've found that those estimates are usually very compelling and convincing because that customer, they don't really want to talk to an estimator per se, someone who has a price sheet and knows how to punch in the numbers. What they want to do is they want to talk to a professional. And if you're the guy out in the field getting it done every day, you're the guy they want to talk to. And so these work gear, you know, estimates where you're a little dusty, not shabby, tucking your shirt, but a little dusty goes pretty good. So this is for electric vehicle charging for a condo. The other estimate they got was $5,300 because there were gonna be some hurdles and it was gonna be a charge point charger, which is not a bad deal. It's good for multifamily pro um, projects and public charging, but it was also gonna come with a monthly premium and you know, app interface and things of that nature to just kind of slow down the day-to-day -day process. So we're gonna see if we can figure out a better option and it's a, uh, <clears throat> Nice to know the market where the competition is living. So let's head inside. All right, so we're here at a condo downtown Indianapolis and we're investigating Tesla charging for a tenant. All right, <clears throat> need to start snapping my investigative photos and uploading them to, not uploading, but just snapping them on Company Cam, the new app. Oh, love it. Great project. Okay, so it looks like there's a, uh, a one inch provisional conduit that's in slab from the electrical room, AKA the nervous system, to uh, two spots away from our client's parking spot. So that's, that's a plus. All right, so we're here downtown Indianapolis. And um, tenant on the fourth floor wants to uh, park their Tesla in the basement parking garage and um, their metering for their unit is not anywhere close to the basement. So there is the requirement to set up an automated billing system from the electrical distribution system to their electric vehicle charging station. Now there are only two electric vehicles that are slated to be parked in this garage at this time and have charging needs, but the development is not complete. And so you know that number is gonna expand and increase dramatically over the course of the next year, 10 years. And so the question is, um, is there a better option than ChargePoint, which considers themselves a software as a service company where they're managing the tenant by tenant billing against the HOA or property ownership so that all the bills get to the right place, everyone's paying their fair share. We've got about 125 linear feet from the panel that's slated for EV charging and is able to handle those loads to the tenant's specific parking space. And the quote that's on the table is about 5,800 bucks. Um, few things to consider. One is when is this work going to take place from, from my standpoint? When is this work going to take place? Am I going to need to get set up as a vendor with um, W9, COI, um, potentially uh, data and safety sheets, etc. cetera, um, submissions? It can be a pretty, for a project of this size, we could have four or five man hours getting set up just as a vendor in order to come in and perform one small job. So I've got to ask the questions and understand what the process is. Are we coming in um, during construction? Are we coming in after construction? When does tenant take occupancy? All of those things um, need to be considered because on a small job like this, um, you know, if you're anticipating two electricians for a day and then you add five to six hours of administrative work on top of that, that, uh, that turns you upside down pretty quick. Um, so we know the technical aspects of what we're up against and the consideration is can we recommend a better solution and if we can then maybe we can capture a better market here, uh, a bigger market than, um, 
than just this one customer because this developer could come back to us every time there is a, a tenant moving in that requires electric vehicle charging if we're the ones that provided the solution and we carry the certification for that product and um, we deliver for them this could be a repeat revenue stream so you have to think big picture there could be 50 electric vehicle charging stations in this building before we're done at four five six thousand dollars a piece um, that's something that we're going to want to take relatively seriously considering this job is 10 minutes from our shop and um, you know logistics are fairly easy parking things of that nature it's not real congested part of downtown uh, so good conversation um, we were connected here through the realtor um, we've worked on her house we've helped her with closings on her properties and um, and now we're connected with a developer and uh, the, the homeowner if you will so a lot, a lot could spring out of this i just want to be thoughtful take it seriously and put the best foot forward